been in this calling now for four decades. I'm in my 60s now. I've crisscrossed the globe. I've preached the gospel from the time I was in my mid-twenties. And yet I'm ever surprised at the temptations that will still stalk, still haunt, and you still struggle, and you realize how vulnerable your heart is towards lust, greed, and pride. Folks, you heard Ravi Zacharias say it himself. He has problems with lust, greed, and pride. Now, I find that amazing because here's a guy who himself says he's been preaching the word of God, the word of Jesus, traveling around the world for over 40 years. He's in his 60s now. 67? And he says he still has problems with lust, greed, and pride. Isn't that amazing? 40 years in the ministry. 40 years hardcore. And he still has. And he's almost 70 years old and he still has problems. Lust, greed, and pride. Folks, that goes to show you. Jesus is, is fake. Fiction. A fictional, char- a, fict- a fictional character of the New Testament Gospels. I mean, he spent 40 years. spent Not just spent, but it's still spending. So over 40 years. Almost 70 years old he is. 40 years. Four, over four decades. Studying the Bible. Day in and day out. Eating and thinking and just ruminating over it. Philosophizing over it. He's all that for over 40 years and he still says I still suffer with lust issues lust, greed and pride wow the lust of the flesh this goes to show you not only is Jesus is, is fake fiction 40 years committed to something and you're still suffering from lust Greed and pride. Not only does it show you he, 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 this superhero character from the comic book Gospels is fake, but it goes to show you, folks. Jesus, the belief in Jesus will not save you from the realities of life. Here's a 70-year-old man saying, I have lust problems. He's a married man, three kids, he's got grandkids, and he says, I have lust problems. Ravi Zacharias. Lust, greed, and pride. See, folks, Jesus will not save you from the realities of life. Getting sick, loved ones dying, we're all gonna die. The belief in Jesus will not save you from the realities of life. But I tell you what Jesus will do for you. He'll give you hope. And that's good enough, my friend. So, Ravi Zacharias, I respect your belief in the fictional character, superhero Jesus of the New Testament. I respect it. Even though it's a fairy tale, I respect your faith because it gives you hope. Just like kids, and I'm being serious, kids, down and out, and you talk to him about Santa Claus. And folks, this is a fact. It gives the kids hope. Like, you know what, little kid? Don't be down. I know you had a hard day in school. But Santa Claus is coming December 25th. He's coming for you. And I'm being serious. I'm not joking. And we all know kids get up and just, wow, yes, yes, yes. Hope. Even though we know it's a fictional character, it gives you hope. Same, if some man or woman was on their deathbed and somehow, you know, they believe Superman or Spider-Man was real. 
and Spider-Man and Superman. They were going to come together when the person died and take them off to the cosmos. Folks, that would give them hope. The same hope if they believed in the fictional Jesus of the New Testament. The same hope if they believe in, 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 in literal fairies. The same hope. Folks, you can create any character. I don't care how far-fetched the character is. You can create any character. And if you believe in it with all your heart, mind, and soul, it will give you hope. Strength to go through the obstacles in life. But let me tell you, folks, nothing is going to save you from the realities of life. Nothing is going to save you from the obstacles of life. Nothing. Nothing. But superhero fictional characters, be it Jesus, Santa Claus for kids, Superman or Spider-Man, Batman, whomever. You believe in it hard enough, it'll give you hope. It'll help you get through the obstacles of life. So, Jesus does serve a purpose. As fiction as he is, he serves a purpose in many Christians' life. Like Ravi Zacharias, who said that he tried to commit suicide at the age of 17. Me years to even talk about it. I never talked about it to my parents afterwards. My wife spoke to my mother and my father and said, it is so embarrassing to Ravi to even discuss it. It's easier for me to discuss it from a platform than it is to talk one-on-one -on -one across the table. The fact that I tried to take my life is a devastating thought to me. The only consolation I have is that I didn't know Christ at that time. Jesus, the belief in his character, this comic book character called the Gospels from 2,000 years ago, belief in that character gave him hope. Just like little kids, like I said, the down and out. Santa Claus is coming for you. Santa Claus is real and we tell him that it's real. Believe he's coming the 25th of December. And kids rise up and go, yeah. Jesus, I'll do that same thing if you believe hard enough, folks. Just like Superman, Batman, Robin, the Credible Hulk. Any character you name, make up any character and believe in that superhero character. I don't care how far-fetched it is. Think of it and believe in it and it'll give you hope is what keeps you and me going. Doctors will tell you that if, if you, the person who believes in Jesus, like, yes, he's real. Brain lights up. Part of the brain lights up. Well, you can have that same same thought about Superman, Batman, Robin. I'm sure for kids, Santa Claus. Same part of the brain lights up. So believing in superhero characters, whether it's Santa Claus for kids, a dogs for Jesus, whether it's believing in Spider-Man or Batman or Superman, your brain lights up and it gives you hope. That's good. I want Ravi to believe in the superhero Jesus. I like kids believing in Santa Claus. And anyone who wants to believe in Spider-Man or Superman, I love it. Just don't bring dogma of, oh, you're going to go to this Jesus hell or Superman hell or Spider-Man hell or the Credible Hawk hell. Don't bring up, that's just stop all the dogma, people. Hell, obey this Bible, give your money to the church, tithe, forget all that dogma. It's, it's stupid, it's idiotic, it's worthless. But the belief in any superhero character, yes. But remember, folks, it won't save you from the realities of life. And you can ask Ravi Zacharias on that one. I've been in this calling now for four decades. I'm in my 60s now. I've crisscrossed the globe. I've preached the gospel from the time I was in my mid-twenties. And yet I'm ever surprised at the temptations that will still stalk, still haunt, and you still struggle, and you realize how vulnerable your heart is towards lust, greed, and pride. He'll tell you. This is Brett Strong, signing off.